Well, this version of the Cherry Orchard is set on a spaceship. It is set on a spaceship and it follows a crew who are on uh, a long distance journey to another world, um, one that they will never see themselves, but they have for hundreds of years kept faith in the mission that one day their descendants will get there and it's up to them to make sure that happens. The original Cherry Orchard and this one as well is about what it means to be living within like the terrible interregnum, like the old world has not yet died and the new one hasn't been born yet. And I tried with this version to kind of push it more in that direction. Um, because I think what Chekhov really understands is that the world needs to change, but the way in which that change comes about has so many complicating factors that aren't just about logic, they are about feeling, they are about complicated dynamics and relationships. It's that eternal um, attention between keeping something and just scorching the earth and starting afresh. That's why it's been relevant, and that's why it will be relevant in whatever imagining of it there is. There are characters in this play who explicitly talk about revolution um, in both this version and the original, mm -hmm. but you also see how they are inherently tied up with people who are essentially part of an oppressor class. Mm -hmm. And that is what it means to live within a society, is that it's not such a clean break for anyone. So obviously this casting is really important to me um, as something to see in the world as a kid who grew up watching his name on the sci-fi shows that he loved only in the credits in a sort of technical department mm -hmm. uh, which can be brilliant but I was so yearning to see a face that looked like mine. Who wouldn't want to play uh, you know a well-intentioned emotionally labile under a pressure cooker captain who has a tragic history. Who, who, honestly, who would not want to play that role? <laughs> the idea of a generation ship was something that always appealed to me because it spoke very truthfully to the act of emigration, um, in the sense that when I think of my grandparents and the way they always spoke about the idea that their lives were not the fulfillment of their dreams, it was mine and my sister's lives. And so the thing with a generation ship is that you won't be the person who gets to the destination at the end, your descendants will, but that act of sacrifice and faith to know that you've got to just be part of the journey of someone else's story was incredibly compelling and felt very truthful and it married a massive sci-fi idea with a very personal thing.